Speaking of father's training, I think it's your father that trains you, right? Um, he's had a pretty good solid year this year. Uh, just talk to us about what the future holds for you. I think you got a fight coming up, and uh, what can we expect from you in the future? Man? Yeah, I mean, my dad's been training me my whole career since an amateur. Uh, he's been my only trainer. And uh, yeah, we're doing good. Uh, like Carlos said, it um, doesn't matter who trains you. The, these top names, it, it's a, it comes down to the fighters. Yeah. The fighter wants it, and the fighter wants to be your world champion, he's going to be world champion. And so far, we're doing good. We're still undefeated. Um, I just recently won my first uh, regional title, and I'll be making my first defense also December 8th on Carlos's card. You're 20, 20 and 0 now? Uh, yeah, 20 and 0. 20 and 0. Um, how soon before you think you get like a world title shot? You'll see uh, those top names, like those top 10, 15 names. Uh, pretty soon. I'm talking next year. Um, I'm ranked number four by the WBO, so I'm up there mm -hmm. and undefeated. I just gotta make this defense, get past this guy. Probably one or two more defenses, and probably mid or late next year, you'll see me fight for a title. It's at 126, right? Yes. Um, it's a stacked division. The fighters are on the other side of the street, but um, as you saw, they were able to make Joseph Diaz versus Gary Russell a great fight. Um, great fight for the fans. It didn't pan out for Joseph, but. Is there a name on that side of the street that, that, you, that you always wanted to? You said growing up and watching him, that's the guy that I want to face one day. It's just one of them in particular. Um, not growing up and watching them. It's more like what they have. Like Gary Russell, he has a WBC belt. That, I think that's the most prestigious belt right now. And it's every fighter's dream to be a WBC world champion. So I'll definitely go for him. And also uh, Leo Santa Cruz, because Leo Santa Cruz is a big name out here in LA, uh, California. So I think uh, together you guys can put a good, we can good, put show, a good yeah. show, a great fight, Mexican fight, and entertain the fans. And obviously those are the guys I want. How would you go about fighting a, a Gary Russell and then a Leo Santa Cruz? It's different type of fighters, different type of styles. How would you go about fighting? Yeah, them? they're different styles, different fighters. Gary Russell is more of a boxer, counter, and Leo's more of a come forward pressure fighter. I think with uh, Gary Russell, you gotta go after him. Uh, be smart in there and just work them up and down and with um, Leo you pretty much got to be smart in there also he's gonna come to you so you got to maybe box at times and maybe brawl with him at times but that's about it you just gotta the best man wins the best yeah. man's gonna win that night it looks like they might face each other how would that fight play out uh, it's gonna be a good fight it's gonna be a good fight I know they fought in the amateurs uh, I, I think believe Olympic trials mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Gary Russell won by one point so um, Leo's been looking yeah, to avenge that from yeah, him. Yeah, so know. and I mean, one point is nothing. That means the fight was really close. But I think in the pros, I'll, I'll pull for Leo. Yeah. I think the pressure will eventually get Russell if uh, Russell doesn't land anything big with his speed. And I think he'll, oh, I think he'll get the victory. Of course, you're in the gym. You're with your brother. He's part of the, the per one of the persons that pushes you when you're in the gym. Um, talk to us about his last fight. How you saw things um, and um, how. How you plan on, on taking this fight that you're going into? Like, you get to defend your little regional title and all that. I mean, yeah, he's he got a tough fight uh, against Ivan Delgado. Uh, we know that he was with Golden Boy before, and uh, yeah, it was a good fight. Ivan came to fight, he came to win, and it was close. But I believe I seen the replay about three to four times already. I believe my brother won four rounds to two. Did he feel the same? Did he see it and he feel the same? Like the team? About the about the win? Yeah, yes. As a team. Yeah, we, you we, guys saw we it, won. Yeah. Um, but we could see the draw because there were some rounds that we won that were really close. Mm -hmm. So we could see that maybe the judges gave it to Delgado. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. We just got to move forward. We got the draw and just keep going from here. Yeah. As for yourself, defending a regional title, um, how, how do you feel about that or whatnot? Uh, and uh, your opponent, just what you know about him. Now. Yeah, I mean, I'm fighting a kid from a guy from uh, Philadelphia. Um, What's his name? I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, see, let me <laughs> I don't see his name. Okay. Uh, Eric Hunter. Oh. I'm fighting Eric Hunter from Philadelphia. His last fight was against Lee Selby for the IBF title mm -hmm. when Lee Selby was champ. Uh, he lost, but. Uh, he gave him a good fight. He knocked down, I believe, Selby in the second or third round. So, I thought I recognized him. Yeah, so I'm fighting him. I think he was with Golden Boy before also. So he has a record of 21 wins, I think four losses, and like 13, 12 knockouts. Mm -hmm. So we expect a good fight. But I'm training hard, and at the end of the day, I'm sure I'm going to be champion. So. All right, Joe, I'm going to let you go to the fans where to follow you on social media. Follow me on Instagram, at Joe Gonzalez, and on Twitter, at Joe Gonzalez1. Right, cool. Thank you, man. Appreciate you.